Hello world, welcome to the 63rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in the LEGO EV3 playlist. And now this may seem like a big jump from where we ended on the previous video, but when we go through the code, you'll see it's really not. So full disclosure though, I did not design this robot arm that you'll see shortly. Uh, I'll leave links in the description to the creator. He even created build instructions on his site, which will get you around 60% of the way there. So they're not complete and they're confusing, but I am 100% in support and thankful for what the person did because there's 99 steps that he had to create in the Lego Creator um, software and I'll take 60% any day. I suck at building, so I'm really happy that he uh, did that. So this was created using the basic LEGO EV3 base set. And then I programmed it using, of course, the Python EV3, um, the Python LEGO EV3 operating system. So one of the most endearing parts of Iron Man was the scenes with what he called later Dumb E, the robot arm. So let's check out what I mean from the Iron Man movie. Oh, not complete dumb. Ready? You got me? Stay put. Nice. Could you use it? You, you're no benefit at all. Move down to the top. I got it. Okay, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? All right, so that's pretty cool. Just to let you know, we're not that advanced yet. But let's check out my prototype and see what we can do. Okay, so let's first open the claw. Okay, now let's raise the arm up. All right, now let's move it left to right okay we knocked over our bridge so let's move that back okay that should be good and now let's lower the claw All right, now let's close the claw. Now let's bring it back up. Okay, it looks like it's a little heavy for that. There we go, and then we can swing it around. All right, now let's drop it. Let's open our claws back up. And bring it back open. And swing it around. All right, now let's say bye. Bye. All right, so let's log in and look at the code. Make sure you've seen my previous videos. The link to the playlist will be in the description. So I'm not gonna go through these logon procedures and I won't go on on what I'm typing to access my project. We're just going to go right into the project because hopefully you've watched the first two videos. Nano. All right, so now we're in the code. So um, if you come here from my previous videos, 
then I'll just start from there. So make sure you watch those. So we've um, in the previous video we had this RC1, which was the remote control on channel one. Now what we're going to do this time is we're going to add two and three, so we can access channels two and three. All right. In the previous video we had a left motor and a right motor variable. But this time we're going to do the bottom motor, which makes it turn left and right. So that will be a large motor connected to output C. Then the arm motor, which goes up and down, that's also going to be a large motor. That's connected to output B. And then we have the claw motor, which is actually a medium motor. And we have that connected to output A. And the reason why I use these it's in reverse order is because of the length of the cable and so I I needed this one the claw motor to be as close as possible so then I print to myself program ready so I know when I can start playing with it and then in the previous videos you saw how we used RC1 dot red up blue up and red down so that's connected to channel 1 and what that does is controls this bottom motor at a speed of 150 or a negative 150 to go the other way and then I can stop it so all we did was added three more for channel 2 which controls the R motor up and down red up blue up red down and then RC3 so it's channel 3 red up blue up and red down and that opens and closed the claw motor with the claw motor run so really this is just a duplication of what we did in the previous video but instead of just having one left motor we have the bottom motor arm motor and claw motor on three separate channels on the remote control and that's pretty much the end of the code pretty simple all right so i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe and like this video and leave a comment and let me know what else kind of projects you would like to see. Thanks. Goodbye, world.